<laughs> What's going on guys? I have with me the Bare Bones V2 trainer. I've had this for a couple months now and I just kind of want to make a, a quick review on it. So we'll start from the top. Uh, it has a 154 CM trainer blade, uh, stainless steel handles, uh, T10 I want to say pivot screws and then everything else is T8. I can't speak for the light screw because it wasn't in there whenever I got it. It already had spare cordon on it. Anyways, so far I've uh, been flipping this knife for the majority of uh, the time that I've been flipping for the past week or so. A uh, couple things I want to note about it. It is a heavy flipper. It is stainless steel. Uh, so two things that come with that. One, it's going to last a long time because it's stainless steel. Drawback to that, stainless steel is very heavy. Uh, so it is a heavy flipper. And not only that, overall it's 10 inches long. So it is a very, uh, very long and skinny flipper. Of course, this is going to have some drawbacks like when it comes to uh, choker fans. But in my opinion, it helps out rollovers, chaplains, uh, aerials, and a few other things. So overall, I think this is a pretty good ballast song for a beginner if you're willing to uh, pay the price for it because 200 bucks for this knife is a little steep. I get whenever they first came out with the Bare Bones Trainer, uh, the market kind of was lacking a, a good trainer at a somewhat decent price point, but since then, uh, kind of it opened a void for good trainers below 200 and that void's kind of been filled. So there's other options to go. However, if you do want a stainless steel, something that you can drop and it's not going to hurt, I definitely recommend this. Uh, flipping it, I think it's a good flipper. Uh, if you've never flipped a, uh, a stainless steel balisong before, then you kinda, kinda just gotta get a feel for it. It's a little different. Uh, one thing I do wanna say, it runs off washers uh, and just the pivots. And one thing that's gonna bring is plenty of tap. All of the bare bones have tap and play. Here is the play, let me get that out of the way. And that's, that's almost a given with these, unless they've been modded. Uh, I would like to see bushings put in these. I think if these had bushings, it would solve a lot of their issues because just a lot of people say they just feel sloppy whenever you flip them, and that's just because the tolerance is due to it just running off the pivots. So I'm not too sure how much that would increase the price point. I would assume maybe 40, 30, 40 bucks on uh, each one of them, but I think just having that tighter tolerances at a price point of 230 would be a little better, because 200 is definitely steep for this. Uh, I I would like to see it more towards 150 ish. I think that's kind of fair for it, but you know, to each to each their own. If people want to pay this and you can pay it, uh, if you do pay it, I don't think it's necessarily a bad decision. Uh, I think when it comes to you looking for a uh, uh, Balasong trainer you can flip for years and not have to worry about it. It's it's almost worth it. Uh, the finish on this it has a stone wash finish. One really nice thing about this is just with it being such a rugged, durable uh, trainer, if you're going to have it for years, that stone wash is going to help uh, hide some of the scratches that the years of years of flipping it's going to bring. Uh, it kind of hides any scratches or scuffs. But overall, I do like this trainer. Uh, it's kind of fun to flip, it's definitely unique. If you're just getting into it and you want to get a trainer that's uh, going to be really easy to learn like rollovers and stuff on, I definitely recommend this one. Uh, the price point is a little steep, but teach their own on that. I am going to post this for sale on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow my Instagram, the link is going to be in the description if you just click on that. I plan on doing giveaways and uh, it's, it's where I do most of my buying and selling when it comes to butterfly knives. I actually got this one off Jersey, uh, but I'll probably be selling it on uh, Instagram. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this little quick review. Uh, I forgot to mention real quick, just the Zen pins. I do like the Zen pin design on it. I've never had a problem with them coming loose or anything like that. It does say BRS. Right there. Uh, never had a problem with the Zen pins coming loose. The... Uh, Cutouts in the handles do feel nice, and it kind of it kind of makes up a little bit for when it comes to choker fans. Where this is kind of a longer, skinnier knife, choker fans are a little bit difficult, but those cutouts kind of help you dig in there and kind of get more rotation on it. Uh, yeah. If you guys want to see more reviews, uh, just comment down below what you guys would like to see. I'm always buying and selling, so 
keep an eye out on my Instagram if you guys are interested in any of these I'm reviewing. And other than that, you guys take it easy.